Um, I, I, I was totally unrecognizable. I am dressed as a librarian. Tell him. She's dressed as a librarian. Yeah, yeah, see, see, look, look. And I promise you, the minute I saw the just the second I turned my back. Well, I suppose this near miss underscores the need that uh, we stay indoors until this is all over. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get it. From this moment on, I am going to be the essence of cooperation. Hope you mean that, Lucy, because I really need you to. I do. I, 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 I swear I do. And, and it's really good because Maxie's going to be my eyes and ears for the ball, and she's agreed to follow all my instructions to a T, so that's good, too, and I'm going to be really good. Could I please, please, please have my burner phone back? Please. For any trouble I may have caused. May have caused. Hi, bye. What? I thought you would have been more upset. If I was, I'd be a hypocrite. How come? I couldn't leave without you. So I went for a walk and I ran into Carly. Andrew King. Whoa. Regular party. Long story short, uh, they've been briefed and Drew Kane is on board to help us out. Really? That's... That's actually very good news. I hope it is. Yeah. I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I kind of attacked you. I really overreacted. But when I came in here and I saw that the table was overturned and stuff, I thought maybe that you'd taken me at my word, gone to Europe, um, which I would have deserved. But I would have, I would have really missed you. Anna, if Victor knew you were alive, he would kill you. And I have loved you always. We lived our whole lives apart, and if I were to lose you now, I couldn't take that. Oh. Let's not lose each other through all of this. Let's bury Victor instead. <laughs>